Okay, I'm going to show you how to set up or change the settings on an airport base station, one of the Apple airport base stations. In this case, it'll be an Airport Express, which I recently reviewed on YouTube. So, first thing you want to do is make sure you're connected to the prop to the airport base station. So, in this case, I am. And then you want to go down here to your Finder window, and this is just how to do it on a Mac. I don't know how to do it on a PC. I guess it came with a disk for this airport utility. I don't know how to do that. I haven't even tried it. So you want to go to your Applications folder, and then you want to scroll all the way to the bottom. If it's, you know, if it's organized by the name, it'll be on the bottom. If it's uh, categorized by something else, it won't be on the bottom. But, you know, go to your Utilities folder. Click on the Airport Utility um, program or utility or whatever it is and then we can get out of this um, and then it'll recognize all the airport base stations that are on your network in this case I only have one and the green light indicates that it's like functioning and connected to the internet and whatever so I don't know much about the automated setup that it offers you know if you click to continue here it would probably help you set it up but I just like to go manual setup and then if all you want to do is create a wireless network, you from this airport tab up here, you can just click on the wireless tab and then select create a wireless network from this window. Name the network and this name will show up on all the computers that are, you know, that you want might want to connect to the network. Select your radio mode. I just recommend the default 802.11n and 802.11bg compatible. You know, that way other computers that might not have 802.11n for example, you know, an older PC or an older Mac even, that way they can connect to it. I recommend you get on either channel 11 or 1 because channel 6 is the default on all routers and there can be a lot of interference. This isn't such a big deal if you don't live in an area where there's other networks, but if, you know, I just kind of recommend 11 or 1. Um, if you want to, if you don't want to use a password on this menu, you'll just select none but I do recommend you use a password on yours, and I recommend WPA2 Personal. And then you just type in your password here, and I recommend a password of at least 20 characters, even though, you know, it depends on where you live. If you live in, like, a densely populated area where there's a lot of other networks, you know, you, you definitely probably want to have some security, and, you know, so people aren't getting on your network, and whatever. Um... I don't know much about what's under this internet tab. That's kind of all automatic, and I don't... Unless you're really advanced, I don't think you should probably mess with that. If you want to stream music over the AirTunes, you'll click on the Music tab. Enable AirTunes, and I recommend you enable AirTunes over Ethernet as well, but you certainly don't have to. For printers, um, this is so you can wirelessly print from all the computers in your home. I haven't gotten this set up because we have a really old and apparently unsupported printer. So I can't get it to print wirelessly. It's not that big a deal for me because the one time a week that I actually need to print, you know, I don't mind just plugging in the USB cable. But so you, I guess, just set that up. And then under the advanced, you know, I don't know much about this stuff either. But because all I really want to do is um, create the wireless network, and then you can change some access and. Uh, you name the Airport Express, I just named mine Airport Express, and then that'll show up if you go into your iTunes down here, if you're connected to the Airport Express, and this will happen on a Mac or PC, regardless of wh whether you go through this setup on that Mac or PC, you can select either the computer speakers or Airport Express, and then when you do that, and then you play some, when you play music, it will, it'll play over those speakers. Um, and you have to have speakers plugged into the Airport Express, obviously, like powered speakers, it doesn't, you know, or headphones or whatever. And so, and then, you you know, you just, I typed in a password. I'm not exactly sure what this password here is for, but I typed it in anyway and made myself a password for that. And then I set the time zone that we're in, and so, yeah. That's how to configure an Airport Express base station.